a bell curve or normal curve describes the distribution of a set of data that creates a bell shape. And so um, it's usually used in statistics and in psychology you will use it to examine a set of data that you have gathered. Um, what it is is a probability distribution and it has certain characteristics. Let's talk about those characteristics. The first one is with the mean. In a bell curve, the mean is always at the center. So in this particular um, set of data, you're going to have 100, which is your mean, and it's right there in the center. A bell curve only has one mode. Um, so there's only one peak in a curve with a peak like this, just one peak is called unimodal. Two peaks would be mimodal and so on, and so this is just one. The bell curve also has predictable standard deviations, as you can see here. So um, standard deviations are how far away we get from the mean. And in a normal bell curve, the standard deviations are going to be, and we're just going to say SD, we have 68, 95, 95, and 99.7. And so what this means is that 68% of the scores will fall within one standard deviation from the mean. 95% of your scores are going to fall within two standard deviations from the mean. And then what you have left, or three standard deviations from the mean, which covers about 99.7% of the scores, will be within the three. Um, no matter what we are measuring on a normal curve, it could be heights, weights, middle aptitudes, you're always going to see this symmetrical shape. So symmetry will be our last characteristics. Um, it's often used in IQ testing or to illustrate IQ scores. Um, and you'll see that most of the scores are going to fall between one and two standard deviations from the mean. Sometimes we go past that. We go um, to where we have only about 2% of the scores, um, and that's going to give you the IQ of 130 if you go to the right, or an IQ of a 70 if you go to the left. Periodically, intelligence tests are re-standardized to account for things such as the Flynn effect, which has been an increase in intelligence over um, the past several years. And so uh, it's important to re-standardize these tests so you continue to have a distribution such as this one.